Good afternoon and welcome to our second edition of the Wolfpack Family News. It's hard to believe that we are to the end of the fourth week of the 2021 school year. We'd like to share with you some interesting facts about Greenboro High School. Did you know that 100 certified faculty and staff work in this building each day? 76% of those hold advanced degrees. This is a statistic that we are particularly proud of as our faculty and staff model the behavior that we're hoping to instill in our students of being lifelong learners. Greenbrier this year has 1,680 students as our current enrollment. We are teaching 47 advanced placement classes, 47 CTAE courses, 25 fine arts classes, offering 36 interrelated support classes, and we have four classes dedicated to the educational advancement of our SAD, MOID, and MID students. We are proud to be offering the variety that we do here on the campus of Greenboro High School to both our A and B day students as well as our learn from home. Last year's class of Greenbrier had 376 graduates. Of those graduates, 100 were Zell Miller recipients. Those who received the Zell Miller Scholarship had a cumulative GPA of 3.7 and earned a 1,200 on the SAT or a 26 on the ACT in one sitting. This allows these students to receive a 100% tuition credit at Georgia Public Colleges. We had 117 students who received HOPE Scholarship. These students had a cumulative GPA of 3.0 and will receive an 80 to 90% tuition credit at a Georgia Public College or University. Additionally, 70 of our graduates received additional scholarships in the form of academic or athletics, which brought the class of 2020 to a grand total of $7,776,000 in higher education scholarships. This is something that we are proud of and proud of our graduates. Way to go, class of 2020. Now let's look back to this year and focus on digital citizenship. Many of our students, as we are on an A-B schedule or we have students learning from home, many of our students are sharing technology. It's important that everyone plans ahead. If you'll remember, we talked last week about having dedicated spaces in order to concentrate on your academic endeavor endeavors. This week, we want to highlight the need to plan for sharing. Teachers are diligent in planning in advance for students so that they are able to know what is due and when it is due. This will enable our families and our students to plan when they're sharing tools for success. Also, be aware of your space. As the pandemic has emphasized for all of us, in the working world as well as in the educational world, when you're on that camera, you are public for all those that are in your Zoom meeting, in your uh, Google Meet session. So smile, you're on camera, but more importantly, be aware of your space. Be aware of what's posted on the walls behind you, what's in your surroundings. We've all seen the news clip that had a cat or a child who came into the space of those commentators. It happens. But again, be aware of your surroundings when you're on camera. Remember, we are operating in academic platforms. What we post and what we say should be academic in nature. And last but not least, don't wait to the last minute. Remember, it goes back to rule number one here that we talked about, plan ahead. Please be aware that the Columbia County Board of Education revised calendars at their Tuesday board meeting. Next week, on Friday, September 4th, all middle and high school students will be learning from home in order to allow teachers to plan. This means that when we return to campus on Tuesday, September 8th, Group A will be returning to campus. 
You should also note that in the revised calendar, the week of November 9th through 13th is now a full school week. The board told us last spring that should the Augusta National decide to hold the Masters Tournament in November without patrons, they would revise the calendar to ensure that we continue academic continuity. And that is indeed the case. So we will be in school the week of November 9th, 10th, 12th, and 13th. The 11th is a holiday because we will be honoring the nation's veterans. The leader of the pack, Mrs. Carla Shelton, would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Wolfpack family. She wants to thank students for wearing their masks, washing their hands, and keeping distance when possible. It is through these efforts that our A and B day instructional practices here on campus are being successful. And she'd like to thank the entire Wolfpack family for that. Upcoming events that everyone should be aware of. On Tuesday, September 1st, progress reports will come out. It is hard to believe that we are halfway through first nine weeks, but we are. Please look for these and be sure that you're checking academic progress regularly in Infinite Campus. As we mentioned a minute ago, Friday, September 4th, is going to be Learn From Home for both A and B Day students at middle and high school level. Next week on campus, we'll have our softball team playing on Monday at Social Circle. They'll be home on Wednesday and Thursday, and our volleyball team will be playing at Grovetown on Thursday. As always, due to weather, these sporting events, dates, and times may change, so please consult the school calendar before you come out and support the Wolfpack. Thank you, and we hope that you all have a fabulous weekend. We'll look forward to meeting with you next week for another edition of Wolfpack Family News.